right, what's going on everyone? Welcome back. Today we are in Abilene, Texas at Oak Creek Homes and we're getting ready to check out this beautiful double wide. This is the Haven. Really nice, I'm standing up underneath of this. This is probably gonna be the only one that we've toured we're going to tour today that has a little awning over the top of it. It is starting to sprinkle a little bit. But uh, anyway, the Haven is a three bedroom, two bath, double wide. It is made up of approximately 2,040 square feet with a footprint of 30 by 68. I'm super excited. There are, I mean, as you can see, there are tons and tons and tons and tons of homes. They've even got some nice little mini mansions over here we're going to get into. They've got that fancy one over there with a big old front porch. So I'm a little tickled, a little excited. There is a lot happening this week in terms of uh, all of our home tours. And uh, we did have some special news come through the past couple days. So pretty excited about that. Don't want to say too much yet. Don't want to jinx it. Still a long ways to go. But uh, maybe hopefully in the near future we will be able to reveal that. Anyway, back to the home. Enough rambling. When it comes to the price, this home is starting at approximately $225,000. Of course, that may be a little bit different depending on your fixtures and finishes and of course your area where you're getting this home at. But with that, I hope you're excited. I hope you're having a great day and I hope you're ready to tour some homes. With that, if you do want any more information before we get inside this home, you can use the Find My Floor Plan Finder on our website at timothyplivingston.com to filter homes based on your specific needs. It's all 100% free, so definitely go check that out. You can find the link for that down in the description. Alrighty, here we are. This, uh, this is the first one. <laughs> It's already starting off with a bang. The kitchen is absolutely gorgeous. And then, of course, it just as soon as you walk in, you've got this super nice kind of fireplace with stone surround. Loving that. Well, I'll go ahead and turn you around. Let's check out the front door right here. And like I said, there are two different entrances. So you do have another one over by the utility room, which we will get to uh, in a little bit. But there is already a lot happening over here on the right hand side and this is kind of back this way is where all the secondary bedrooms are so we're going to start on this side and then we're going to work our way back uh, to the kitchen master bedroom all that fun stuff so first things first you've got this office right here just off of the living room and front door it's got this nice barn door there's actually two barn doors you got this little column right here that kind of separates it a little bit I'm sure that you could opt to turn this into an actual bedroom if you wanted to, but you know, you've got two other bedrooms back this way. And it's just neat that it's set up like an office. You can turn it into like a little craft room, hobby room, all types of stuff. Got some nice little built-ins in here. I love that this wood is actually going throughout the whole home. Super nice color. I am digging it. And then you can kind of see a, both of the openings. But we'll go ahead and work our way out this one and down towards the bedroom. So kind of a small hallway, not real big, but that leads you right here to this kind of common space. Of course, you got the openings to both of the bedrooms. And then you've got like this little media center right here. So if you've got some kids, they can do their homework. You've got plenty of plugs, some nice open shelves, put some books. Ooh, that is a, a nice actual wood accent wall. Oak Creek doing it up. Even got uh, some USB plugs going on. So really nice little space. And then this is the first of the two bedrooms over here on this side of the house. This one actually sits up towards the front of the home. Nice big window. And then, ooh. Got the wooden shelves and wooden hanging dowels. That's exciting. And these doors are nice too. You got these kind of craftsman style doors as well going throughout the whole home. And then this is the second bedroom. I think both of these bedrooms are pretty close to the same size. This one sits on the back side of the home. Another nice size room, kind of a 
little modern looking ceiling fan up there. And then you've got its closet as well. Pretty nice deep closets too. Like there's just a lot of space in there. Then opposite from the two bedrooms in this little common area, you've got the first full bathroom. So you've got double vanities, some recessed vanity lights. Nice big linen cabinet going not quite all the way up to the ceiling. So you put little fun things up there. You've got your toilet and you do have a shower and tub combo back here as well. Now, I don't think that they have the door. Well, obviously they don't have the door mounted, but um, you'd have a barn door right here and that would open up into this great big linen closet. I mean, this thing's huge. I like that because you can really keep, I mean, not only do you have this right here, but you know, you can just keep everything nice and tidy in the bathroom. All right, now we can start getting into all of the good stuff. Coming back out into the living room, got the nice big fireplace right here. Got this stone surround, which looks really, really sharp. Nice little, it's not an overly uh, tall hearth, you know what I mean? I like the kind of more low profile. I don't like the flush hearths, but I like the low profiles. I think they look really good. You got some built-ins on either side of that. And then the ceiling here in the living room is actually quite nice too. It's a great big tray ceiling. You got plenty of windows looking out towards the front of the home. It's kind of a cool way, like I would imagine you could put like a little couch right here, which would create a more of a, a foyer feel as you walk through the front entrance of the home, everybody can still kind of sit around and, and talk to each other. Just off of that, we'll go ahead and get into the master bedroom. Again, you got another tray ceiling in here, some more recessed lights. Got to save that kitchen, you know what I mean? That kitchen's nice. But this bedroom sits towards the back of the home as well. And it has a super nice ensuite too. Got the double vanities, vanity lights. So this section right here is kind of set up as the same as the other one. Got some more linen cabinets. Again, not quite going all the way up to the ceiling, but then back behind us, you got this nice soaking tub sitting just next to these windows get you some blinds up or some curtains you know what i mean got a great big check this thing out this thing's got water jets coming out of everywhere you got these up here at the top you got some right there like a little jacuzzi thing you got the removable wand you got another set down here at the bottom i didn't even see that one but a really nice shower loving that tile surround going everywhere opposite that you've got the toilet and then some more built-ins this home has tons of storage. So much. And then all the way at the back, you've got the master closet. You've got some built-ins in the corner. Again, some nice wood shelves and hanging dowels. A little transom window up here on the back side of the home as well. So really nice ensuite, and like I said, tons of storage in this home. Just wait till you see this kitchen. It also has a whole heap ton of it. So some exposed beams, great big island. I mean, you could fit like five stools right here, maybe four, you know, depending on how much elbow room you want. Got some nice built-ins on this side. Dishwasher, super fancy sink with all the things. Little drying rack. Jen's been wanting a, a farmhouse sink. And uh, I'm not gonna tell you too much, but I've been having to, <laughs> to look and uh, see how to install one. I've never installed a farmhouse sink. Doesn't look too complicated, but you know, there's always room for error. <laughs> costly errors anyway nice big island and then you also have look at all this storage on this side i mean you've got big old drawers down at the bottom whole bunch of those you've got all these cabinets this one these are really tall 
And then you've got another little set right here too. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but just kind of wanted to show off, you know, the amount of storage space. They go all the way up to the ceiling, so you don't have to worry about dusting up there. Cool little range hood that just matches it all. You've got the stove, nice tile, almost like brick. It's all like printed, like the, well, I don't even know what's stamped. That's what it is, like stamped brick, so that's pretty neat. Let's see, running through everything, don't see any, there's no uh, little pull-out spice racks. Checking, you got the built-in microwave right here, and then look at this, another wall of cabinets. So, gosh, all the storage in the world. And then all the way at the end, surrounded by windows, you have this beautiful dining room space. Honestly, the only thing that this would really be missing, you just put like a nice little uh, light fixture hanging down over the top of it. I think that that would make it look super sharp. Make it just add a little extra touch of elegance. Not that this home really needs it, you know what I mean? The kitchen, ooh. All right, and then just off of the dining room, you come into the utility room and we have tons of doors to get into here as well. So you got the furnace kind of right here as you walk in. And then next to that, this door right here is the water heater. All the way at the end, you've got washer dryer hookups and then just look, more cabinets there. No shortage whatsoever. You got some more uh, USB ports in here as well. Charging the phones while you're folding the clothes watching your TV show. We've been watching some Ted Lasso, new seasons out, super excited about that. Got the side door, and then you've got this nice big kind of cubby hole, little drop zone area. And then you've got space right here if you wanted to put like a little mini freezer or stand-up freezer or Maybe like a little table with a lantern, something along those lines. You can let me know what you're going to do with that space down in the comments. And let me know what else you think about the home as we've walked through it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. If you do want any more information on this model or Oak Creek Homes, you can find that right there at the top of the description. Or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com where you can search not only this floor plan, but all the floor plans that we've toured across the country. You can see if they're built in your area, filter them down based off of price, square footage, number of bedrooms, all different types of stuff so you can find that perfect dream home for you and your family. With all that, again, thank you very much for taking the time to tour this home with me. My name is Timothy. I'll see your beautiful face in the next one.